Let's talk about what happens when the amino group of an amino acid engages in nucleophilic acyl substitution with an activated carboxylic acid of another amino acid. In this situation, the carbonyl group that's activated can act as an electrophile and the amino group as nucleophile, and nucleophilic acyl substitution results in the formation of an amide. In the context of polyamino acids, this is called a peptide bond or peptide linkage. Really, it's nothing more than an amide functional group. From the biochemical point of view, amides are great because they have strong resonance delocalization of the lone pair on nitrogen, which gives the amide some desirable properties. This alternative resonance form of the amide shows us a couple of things. First of all, it shows us that the CN bond in the amide has some double bond character. That means that rotation about this bond is restricted, and that limits the conformational freedom of proteins or polypeptides. In addition, that same resonance structure shows that the carbonyl carbon is benefiting from electron donation from a fairly strong electron donating group, the amino nitrogen. And so the carbonyl carbon is a relatively weak electrophile. This means it's very difficult to hydrolyze. It takes very strongly acidic conditions, generally unachievable in a biochemical context except in extraordinary circumstances, as in the stomach or in the active site of a protease enzyme to achieve cleavage of this amide bond. Repeated action of this nucleophilic acyl substitution process forms a polyamide that's also known as a polypeptide or protein. And the structure of a protein is shown for you here. The long stringy ribbon that you see is a representation of the polypeptide backbone. And if we zoom in on one piece of that backbone, what we see looks something like this. We can see our amide buried in this thing, and we can also see side chains, in this case methyl groups of two alanine residues projecting above and below the plane of the screen. This is the essence of how proteins are formed from monomeric amino acids, a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction involving the carbonyl group and the amino nitrogen forms an amide, which is quite stable to a variety of conditions, and because of the structural diversity of the amino acid side chains can give rise to a huge variety of functions.